The frontal regions of the brain play the largest role in metacognition. Of the numerous regions of the frontal lobe, imaging studies have identified the prefrontal cortex as having specific involvement in self-regulation, judgment, planning, and conscious behavior. This conception is evidenced by data collected from behavioral, electrophysiological, and blood flow techniques. The general consensus view is that the prefrontal cortex is critical for integrating thought and behavior. A fundamental component of cognitive neuroprocessing is our ability to hold an idea, an object, or an experience in our minds and then shift your perspective to something else. This ability to hold ideas in our mind when we solve problems is called working memory. And it has been shown that efficient working memory depends on regions in the prefrontal cortex. The PFC becomes more active during tasks that generate demands on attention. An example from a study where they asked a the subject to perform a judgment task, um, which was monitoring each time a vegetable is presented in a series, which activates the anterior cingulate and a visuospatial task, which involved mental rotation, which heavily activated um, places in the right parietal lobe. Now, both of these tasks do activate the frontal lobe, but if you put a person in a complex situation where they need to do both tasks simultaneously, well, this produces a significant prefrontal activation. Presently, there are two competing conceptualizations for what is occurring in the frontal lobes during these kinds of experiments. One centers around the idea that the brain is involved in making ever more accurate associations relating contextual features to things that we see and think about. The other sees this area of the brain as chiefly inhibiting thought and behavior. A computational model proposed by Grossberg poised that executive control over our thoughts and behaviors are maintained by exercising both selective and inhibitory control. In this model, task-relevant information is enhanced in working memory by a kind of like a top-down neural mechanism that also inhibits reaction to similar but irrelevant information. Research has revealed the existence of both inhibitory and excitatory prefrontal control and it seems the cognitive capacities of the prefrontal cortex are bi-directional, enabling them to exert regulatory influence on numerous cortical, limbic, and subcortical regions like was discussed in earlier videos. And lastly, damage or insult to the prefrontal cortex generally produces problems with inhibitory control, particularly in relation to sensory information processing. And it's been correlated to difficulty in sustaining attention, selectively focusing your attention, and detecting novel events in the environment. So out of all of the areas of the brain, the prefrontal cortex seems to be most active when you are engaged in those higher level thinking tasks like metacognition.